One man is arrested after an attempt to serve a warrant led to a portion of downtown Noblesville being closed down earlier today. Noblesville police arrested 27-year-old David View. View was wanted for domestic battery and strangulation after being charged with, uh, with that on November 2nd. Police say the investigation concluded around 7 and traffic is back open around the area of 8th and Hannibal Streets. The mother of one of the girls murdered in Delphi speaking out on national TV about the arrest of Richard Allen. Allen is charged with killing Abby Williams and Libby German in 2017. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us now. So, Adam, is the arrest bringing any relief to this grieving mom? Yeah, you know, Alexis, Libby German's mom, Carrie Tindon, says she has even more questions now than she did before the arrest of Richard Allen was announced on October 31st. She spoke to, pardon me, Inside Edition earlier tonight in an interview that aired right here on Wish TV. He worked at the local CVS, is married, and lived in Delphi. The arrest of Richard Allen and the deaths of Abby Williams and Libby German shocked many, including German's mother, Carrie Timmons. If this turns out that he is the killer, how did he manage to go unnoticed for almost six years? There's a lot of questions still left un unanswered, more questions now than there were before. In 2017, the girls' bodies were found near a creek not far from the abandoned railroad bridge where the girls were hiking. Timmons told Inside Edition only someone from the area would know how to access those trails. It just seems logical that they had some kind of local ties, at, le at the very least. So I didn't expect him to literally be living right under everyone's noses. Allen appeared to be hiding in plain sight. He was spotted at a local bar with a sketch of the suspect right behind him. Pretty brave, bold, like it didn't matter. It just seems crazy that he was right there living life every day. Timmons says while she's relieved Allen is in custody, she still is reliving memories of losing her daughter. Regardless of the arrest, it doesn't bring her back. I'm still going to be living life wondering what she would be doing at this point or that point. Richard Allen was transferred from the White County Jail to a state facility for his own safety, according to officials, as Allen awaits trial on two counts of murder. Another hearing is scheduled for November 22nd to discuss the possible release of court documents in this case to the public. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Adam, thank you. Coming up next at 1030, our team coverage of the election continues. And a cold morning can eat tomorrow. By afternoon, temperatures return to the upper 60s. We're going to talk about the sunshine and the warmer numbers moving forward coming up.